We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. On today, Faith Block Lights, we take a look at this. And what this is from Tennessee Hot Sauce is the Blood Orange Ghost. Is Tennessee becoming the new hotbed for hot sauce? I don't know. But I have seen a few, uh, few sauces from there uh, this year, in fact. So perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, this, I think, is a relatively new company. I don't know how long they've been around. Um, I have not come across them prior to seeing them on the hallowed shelves of Burn Your Tongue. Where many, many goodies and sundries await both you and me. So we have vinegar, water, blood orange, tomato, ghost, bell peppers, garlic, lime, salt. Interesting approach to the ingredient label there, and we'll say... And bl so blood orange is probably my favorite version of orange. It's maybe not my favorite citrus, but I do tend to like blood orange stuff. Normally I wouldn't get an, an orange sauce, but blood orange is just a, just a little different equation. And also the lime, the lime component is a bit, is a bit weird to me as well. Normally. It doesn't really, that's a bit punchy. It doesn't really show up super forcefully here, but a nice pale orangey sauce here. It looks really nice. I quite like how this looks. I will say that the way that the garlic and the smoke from the ghost interact is just just tremendous. This is a sauce I actually like quite a bit. In fact, I think this has been open maybe two or three days, and we've already plowed through half a bottle of it. Definitely a super impressive debut for Tennessee Hot Sauce for me anyway. Uh, and, uh, you know, we might as well just uh, get on into this. It is quite punchy, but it's fast. It's a uh, very fast heat. So it's immediate, but it also dissipates fairly quickly. This might be a bit too much for non-chili heads. I think it's kind of right on the verge. Uh, I gave it a two. I'd say it's a good, good, good solid two. Not quite to the three mark, but I, I do really like this. Like the, the citrusy, the blood orange kind of takes off the edge of the lime, I think. And the, the salt actually interacts in there nicely as well. Tomato gives it that bit of richness. Meanwhile, the garlic and the ghost are just very, just, just a very well done sauce. I, I really, really enjoy what they did here. Probably one of the better tasting sauces I've had this year. And we've got, you know, the chicken tendies. This is definitely a sauce. So I think it's, 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 uh, I haven't tested it as much as I want to. As I opened the bottle and then went on a, road trip right after but I think it's one that the flavor is good enough it's gonna be pretty good on pretty much anything except there's a bit too much citrus for 
say cream sauces and pizzas, but it is delicious. Uh, I think you probably put it on almost any meat. Well, yeah, I would try it on red meat. I don't normally think of citrus in conjunction with red meat, but obviously carne asada, you know, is uh, part of the marinade involves a healthy amount of citrus. Not blood oranges to my knowledge, but, you know, limes and lemons and actual oranges. I think what really makes this sort of brings it all together is the tomato. And it always kind of surprises me that people don't use it in sauces more than they do. You really have, this is honestly more of a cohesive, you know, sort of, the whole is more than the sum of the parts. I quite like that. Again, now, I don't think it's super flexible, but what it does, it does really well. And flexibility. You know, I attach a number to it because I think it's it's an element that bears some recognition. But I'm okay with sauces just pairing with certain types of foods, you know. And if you have those, you reach for that sauce. I think there's something to be something to be said for that. So because, you know, it has a, a numeric rating to it, which goes to the overall numeric rating. It reads as a value, but it's not necessarily, you know, a lesser quality sauce or anything like that. Just because the flexibility scale is a little bit lower. That's why there's multiple things that go into it. You know, really in order to present as comprehensive as, of a picture as possible, I think. This is quite nice. I mean, there is, I've seen a few other things from Tennessee that I'm interested in trying as well. So I have pretty high hopes. Definitely this sauce is, it, it is fantastic. Just so delicious. I wouldn't have thought the tomatoes, I, I mean, I guess they are a fruit technically, but I don't really associate, you know, tomatoes with citrus, but it works to great effect here. Beauty in a bottle. I uh, I can't dispute that. It looks good. It tastes great. Duh, yeah. I'll, I'll say it. Beauty in a bottle. Yeah, for sure. I mean, fruit-based sweet hots in general, general are... I try to... I said over and over and over again that I always keep Louisiana style around. But I really try to keep a sweet hot around as well. And of the sweet hots, the style I think I more, more often find most interesting is if it's fruit-based sweet hots instead of just, you know, there's, there's honey sweet hots. I mean, there's just sugary ones. But when they're fruit-based, I think the fruit adds just a really interesting aspect to it that... I mean, it kind of sets it apart from like perhaps other normal sweet hots, and this one is pretty unique to itself. I can't think of anything else that's quite like this. 
So for meats in particular, do they, do we offer anything here? No, it's just, just nonsense on the label. So, and I can't remember right now if uh, they mentioned anything on the website or not. You know, I don't, I think that's more of a me thing. I don't, I don't think people generally are going to go flocking to a website to see what foods to pair hot sauce with. That's just a, a goofy thing myself and maybe some other chili heads do, but yeah, definitely I would say uh, any of the meats, this is absolutely worth a go. Uh, it works exceptionally well there. And, and it just, like I said, just, just a quite tasty uh, product here. So yeah, very, very impressive uh, here from the Tennessee hot sauce company. So we'll just leave it there. So that is the Tennessee blood orange ghost hot sauce. Now go pull. In peace. To serve the flame.